Today we're going to hack the matrix that is ChatGPT4. We're diving into the crazy world of plugins to see how they can power up your AI chatbot experience. And no, we're not looking into holiday plans and workout routines. We've got a list of plugins you can use in your daily Web3 adventures. Why? Because the plugins we're about to explore can take your Web3 experience from pretty neat to mind-blowing. Let's get started. The process of adding each plugin is identical, so you can follow the same steps for all the plugins mentioned in this video. Select GPT-4 from the drop-down menu, ensure that you have plugins selected, go to the plugin store, search for the plugin you want and install it. So the first plugin on today's list is called ccdata.io. They were previously called Crypto Compare, and as you might suspect, it lets you easily visualize and compare the prices of the coins you want to track in a table format. You can also add columns with the seven day or 30 day price changes. The CC Data plugin can save you time if you want to create a table with your favorite coins without having multiple tabs open at the same time. Next up, we have the Crypto ERC20 Scout plugin. This tool focuses specifically on ERC20 tokens. Simply go ahead and ask GPT to fetch token details, prices, addresses, and listings of the USDC token on the Ethereum blockchain. With this plugin, you can gather information, track prices, and gain insights about ERC20 tokens within the ChatGPT interface. You can make better data-driven decisions and improve your due diligence process by going beyond aping into the most hype projects you see on crypto Twitter. The Chat with PDF plugin is useful in a different way. You can easily feed it any PDF file by installing the plugin and pasting the URL. For now, uploading PDFs directly is not possible. So let's say we provide the URL for the original Ethereum white paper from 2014 and prompt ChatGPT to give us a summary of the entire document, along with a simplified explanation of the technical details. This is particularly useful when you're dealing with complex DeFi white papers or even protocol specifications. Now imagine getting a quick summary of a lengthy document or extracting specific details that you're looking for without having to read the entire paper from cover to cover. DeFi Llama is another really useful tool for DeFi data visualization. Simply install the DeFi Llama plugin and tell it to think like a DeFi analyst. Then prompt ChatGPT to give you a table with the three chains with highest increases of TVL in the past month, their old and new TVL, and finally add a column with the percentage change over the same period. Although it saves time, the plugin is somewhat limited as it provides a one-time query result, meaning you'll have to keep using the same prompt to get updated information. But there's an easy workaround. You can use the Defiant terminal to easily build your own dashboards to display this information in real time whenever you want without having to go through the process over and over again. Just visit terminal.thedefiant.io and check out the video tutorial we made to save yourself even more time. This next plugin provides real-time Bitcoin price updates and gauges market sentiment by analyzing the last 20 news media dimensions related to Bitcoin. Once installed, prompt GPT to give you the current market sentiment around Bitcoin. Now behind the scenes, this Bitcoin sentiment plugin uses natural language processing or NLP to reveal if sentiment is positive, negative, or even neutral. So you can easily get valuable insights as to the market's current mood. Although it definitely has room for improvement, the Bitcoin sentiment plugin can be a potent tool when out of the beta and functioning optimally. All right, we've seen the good stuff. Now, what's the catch with these ChatGPT4 plugins? Well, firstly, they're all in beta, and yes, that can show. Sometimes you might get an entirely incorrect response or just watch the query fail. Also, you can only have three plugins active at once and a maximum of 25 queries per three hours. A pro tip here is to explore prompt engineering to get the most out of ChatGPT. And on that note, we recently carried out a fun experiment with generative AI tools to see if all the hype really is real. So stay tuned for that. All right, that's it for today. Hit the thumbs up if this video helped you. Drop your questions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more and we'll see you in tomorrow's weekly recap.